everybody, it's Sam here. Thank you for watching. So today I'm launching my new Everyday Pop-Ups collection. So some of you will be familiar with this. So we actually first launched Everyday Pop-Ups in December. It sold so well that we've decided to bring it back as a standalone die. And I'll explain and talk about that in more detail shortly. But within this collection, you have cute puppies, adorable kittens. There's a coordinating dies. You've got a stencil and a brand new paper pad as well. And today we have a fantastic bundle offer on this whole collection and I'll link all of that in the description box below. Also in a few hours I will be live over on the Craft Stash Facebook page and on Craft World. I'll be doing live demos and again we'll be looking at this collection in more detail. So be sure to check that out and again those links will be shared in the description box below. But now I'm going to turn the camera around and I'll show you this collection in more detail and I'll show you the samples that I've made as well. So this is everything in the latest kind of additions to the everyday pop-ups. Like I said, it was extremely popular and it sold out so quickly. So what we've done this time is the two main dies we've actually bundled together and you can buy these on their own. So what we found is lots of people were sharing amazing cards with the Christmas pop-ups, but they were also using their own collections and they looked fantastic. So with this here, you'll be able to use this with your own pattern papers, stamps, dies, whatever you already have. So that's the 6x6 and the 5x7. I've also got a brand new paper pad so this is an 8x8 everyday pop-ups and you've just got all of your kind of cat and dog themed papers you've got paw prints just some really different colours and they work really nicely as your backgrounds you get 24 sheets four of four of six designs so you've got your paw prints there you've got this one here with the cute little pooches on the front and you have this one here with the outline of your cats there's uh, about four different poses there Quite a subtle background but like I said it does look nice when you layer it up then with the, the stamps and the dies. This one here I really like. It's almost like they're asking a question, they're putting their hand up but in this case they're putting their paws up. And you could colour them in as well if you want to add your own colours to it. This one's my favourite, I really like this one. So you've got the dog and the cats there mixed with the hearts. And then you also have this one here which you've got your fish scales or skeleton and you've got the bone there and then you've got little hearts and a paw print and then you're back to the beginning again. So that's the paper pad. There's also some stencils here which work really well with the stamp set. So you've got a wood grain stencil and you've got this kind of basket weave. But if you like your mixed media and you just like stencils, then these are really nice ones to have in your stash. And then the best bit, <laughs> my favorite bit, are these, the stamp sets. Now these are heavily used because I've made all my samples with them. So they're a little bit darker and you can see here, these are stained, um, but it doesn't you know, damage the, the stamp and they work perfectly. But here we've got perky pooches. So you've got this adorable puppy in the center. You've got this lovely big grass trim, which is great for lots of other cards as well. So you'll see that probably getting used quite a lot. This is a wood grain panel, which will all make sense in a moment. And then you've just got all these lovely little kind of toys. You've got some really nice sentiments to my bona fide friend. Sorry to hear you're feeling rough. Have a pawsome day and it's porty time. You've also got the dog bowl. You've got paw prints there as well. Really lovely stamp set. I thoroughly enjoyed using this one. And then here is your cute kittens. So you've got a beautiful, she's just adorable. I just absolutely love her eyes. She's just so pretty. These here, as soon as I saw them, they made me think of a very famous sorting hat from a very famous Wizards movie. So all of you um, HP fans, you'll know exactly what I mean there. So if you have anybody, pop a couple of eyes and a, and a mouth on there, yeah, you're good to go with a, a, a wizard theme card. This here is your basket weave, so you can stamp it or you can stencil it. This here is the trim for the basket. And you've got your bowl. This is a nice little sentiment. You are one cool cat with the little ears. And then again, you've got your fish there. You've got your yarn or your cotton, your wool, little ball, little mouse. And then you've got, you got hope you have the perfect day. I'm not kitten, it's your birthday. And then happy birthday. <laughs> I do like a pun. Anyway, so that's the stamps, and then you have the coordinating dies. Now the dies, not only will they cut out elements of the stamps, but they also have the, I guess the, the, the sections to hide the dog and the cat behind. So for the puppy, or the dog, you've got a big panel here, which is your grass, and then he will pop out from the grass, and behind, him will be his kennel or his little home and these dies and the wood grain will make the, the kennel again you'll see that in the, in the tutorials that I'll be sharing very soon and then you've got the dies to cut the footprints out the bowl the toys and so on and then for the cat 
This large rectangle is actually the base of the basket and you can use the stencils there to obviously, maybe it's a wooden basket or a, a, a weave and then you've got the die there that will cut out that long stamp and also that is the, that will stamp perfectly onto the top of this one here as well, okay, so they do match and then you've got the ones to cut, it's, oh I should have mentioned, they're actually the blanket, <laughs> I'm too busy talking about it, it looks like a, a famous wizard's hat, but it's actually a blanket and you'll see it in a moment on the samples, and again you've got the dies to cut some of the, the toys there and the bowl. So that's everything in the collection, so let me show you the samples I've made. Okay, so these are some of the samples. I do have some doubles here because I've had to make doubles to send to Hachanda and so that I've got samples. So yeah, doing it remotely is kind of nice because I get to stay at home and I don't have to travel, but you do have to make more. So this one here, you just pull the pull tab and up pops a little puppy wishing his mate a porcelain birthday. And you can see there the stamped little rosette and all the toys and everything and I've popped glossy accents on the eyes and the nose. And then you just open up the card, this is 5 by 7 and you've got your space to write your message there. And then you can just pop that down. You can see the wood grain effect there and those panels and that's the triangular ones there. So you've got like the sky. This is just another version of that with a different arrangement. So I've got the puppy at the bottom here to my bona fide friend and then all the, the toys around him. And then this time got a slightly different coloured puppy so they're they're nice because they're pretty plain you can obviously if you want to personalise them then you can do so and then this one here I've used my party props and they work really well on the puppy and the kitten the bunting's from my own stash but this one here you'll see pops up from the grass and I've actually layered up another kind of just like the top of the grass so that this little puppy can kind of be playing in the grass there and he's like popping out like it's almost like he's saying where have you been I've been looking for you <laughs> you can see I've had lots of fun making these and then again that's a similar um, arrangement just slightly different coloured puppies there to show you how those look so that's what that does those of you that already have the pop-up dies you only need the additions because you already have the mechanism but it's a really nice fun card I do love this style also got this one here which um, just shows you how to use it on just like a standard top folding card and that's with the pattern papers in the background there and this one says sorry to hear you are feeling rough isn't that lovely I think that's a really cute card okay so these are the kitten ones they're all slightly different this one here I've stamped the basket weave and then I've used my coloured pencils and a blending solution and it's given me quite a, a grungy style to the basket but I think it works really well these are those stamps and dies of that hat but it's actually the blanket you can see how that looks it's just kind of like coming over the edges of the basket I've used the little paw prints there I've just coloured those in got the little mouse you've got all your other bits here the gorgeous kitten and then this one pull the top and up pops her friend very very sweet and again that's a top folding six by six then this one here is that same card again but this time I've used white so I've got a white basket and I've just stamped it and then lightly coloured the, um, the stamped part of the basket there along with the trim and then I've not coloured the paw prints in so you don't have to and then again a friend pops up and then this one here I've got the two yeah these possibly are my favourite ones I just like how it looks so I've done the sentiment slightly different with, and then when you pull this one use pattern papers on the back you get three of them now this one reminds me of my nan's cats so she's had three cats through my kind of you know life growing up and visiting her and stuff and the three of these are Meg, Sophie and BT and he was called BT or she we didn't actually know the sex because she had a broken towel now I know some of you would be like oh my gosh that's so sad but because Nan she was a stray and she would come and visit my Nan and my Nan would start to feed her and did this for years years and years and the cat had a very nice life my Nan had a big garden or has a big garden and um, sometimes it would come in the house but she never really got to know its sex she couldn't really it was still pretty feral but it was very friendly but she couldn't really ever have it sit on her lap or anything like that so when I was making these cards I just thought to myself yeah this reminds me of the three cats my nan had now BT was darker but I just wanted the um, contrast for the three of them there. So we have Meg, Sophie and BT. So Nan, if you're watching, this is a card for you. And I just think the three of them there look so sweet together. And then this was another one 
you can see them there so this is just the red basket you can see how easy you know you can change the colors and then I also just want to show you that you can obviously use this on the 5x7 size so this one here you can just see I've just used the pattern paper and a plain square and um, she pops up really nicely from there so just some other examples on you know how you can really mix it up to create these really cute cards I hope you've enjoyed this mini launch or this kind of additions launch it's really really sweet I know lots of you are going to enjoy this one there's pretty much a there's a cat and a dog in you know every other household I think so I'm hoping this one's going to be well received so as always thank you for watching I'll link all of the product that I've used in the description box below and I'll be back very soon with the tutorials showing you how I've made these cards thanks for watching bye